evilly, then you're the one who kills off all the brown people, which is actually pretty fucking shitty. But if you play the hero, you save everybody and no one dies. You know this, what this game could have been about? Like, you could have had that the little Asian girl that Augustine first brings in when she forms a DUP. Could have had her as a protect because she'd have the most reason to actually fight off Augustine. But instead, they, it turns out later that they write her as killing herself because she can't take transferring out of Curtain K into a military base. Which is actually kind of fucked up. <sighs> I'm so tired of it though, honestly, it's like, and I can't, I can imagine that you guys, yeah, that is true, he was voiced by a white dude though, so half of backtrack, but like, me being a dude, I'm tired of dude poke tags and everything, I can't imagine that would be for someone who isn't, like you. Like, I'm, I'm ready for 10, 15 triple-A games with lady protags, not all of them, having to be white. I'd be more than happy with that. Yeah, he wasn't white, but they could have had an actual native dude voice him instead of Troy Baker. I know Troy Baker's really good. And what's worse is that giving all, like, having every game pretty much in history be pan pandering to cis white straight dudes is annoying because they are literally the most bitchy about like of any demographic they complain about women and minorities and whatnot but they are the most butthurt out of everyone they do not deserve games not like that they've had enough games dedicated to them
come on. I couldn't even move. If you think about it, what kind of monster could subject someone to that kind of punishment? Like these combat training rooms. I mean, she is a soldier and whatnot, but soldiers are still people most of the time. Try again. What time is it? It is 11 to 6. I'm gonna give it one more try and then I'm gonna probably go to sleep. Oh, I forgot to change the uniform though. the other two dudes. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, if I can't take your stuff, then you're gonna get knocked off that bridge. Only four. I'll call you unicorn box. She names these turrets the weirdest fucking things. I'm pretty sure she named one Fred at one point. Bigger, stronger, faster. Or way. something like that. Ow! God damn it. One. Two. Three. <sighs> They're never close enough together. Four. Doesn't count though. Dudes right here. One. No. <sighs> well, that's annoying. Out of all the games that, that has still have deep protects, which one would you like to see not have one first?
have a singularity available. <sighs> I wonder how Black Holes got that nickname. Or maybe I guess Black Hole was the nickname. Like a triple A game that I'd love to see have Lady Protect before any other games. Or Call of Duty and Halo. Just to fuck with people. Plus GTA. Yes, that's another one. Sure. Good choice. seem like they'd be very unlikely to do something like that. But you never know. They have done some things that are actually kind of noteworthy, in my opinion, the last couple games. But not too much so that I'd actually give them any credit. Hopefully if this DLC does well, like, I have no idea what company makes this game, but they just consider making maybe her as the next pro tag for one of their games. Which should be kind of cool. Maybe the next Last of Us could also have one as well. Not sure if you're typing something up, and I'm gonna hit you with another question. You excited for Destiny tomorrow? Get the fuck out of here. They're all by the turret. Oh, good, the exploding turret. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm really excited. Like, sometimes it's hard to tell when I'm speaking. But, I got really excited for it. You know, it's actually kind of sucks because I have a hard time actually sounding excited for it.